First at four, firefighters and recycling centers in Kent County are working to bring awareness to the dangers of lithium-ion batteries during National Fire Prevention Week. News 8's Kyle Mitchell explains how you can stay safe. This is one of the safe chem drop-off locations. Workers receive a variety of lithium-ion batteries, tape them up, and sort them in these barrels. The speed and intensity of a lithium-ion battery fire is something firefighters take seriously. The Grand Rapids Fire Department had to put out this scooter fire in May at Rosa Park Circle. When compromised or damaged, uh, they can overheat, and that overheating can compound and eventually uh, could lead to a fire. Lithium ion batteries can burn up to nearly 5,000 degrees, which is about three times the temperature of a gasoline fire. Uh, lithium batteries like cell phones and other small devices in the home, uh, we once the fire is put out, uh, we try to uh, put them in a container uh, because sometimes they can reignite. Orion 180 says between 2017 and 2022, the U.S. had more than 25,000 fires involving lithium ion batteries overheating. The city of Grand Rapids says they've also had several fires in garbage trucks in recent years that were caused by lithium ion batteries. Uh, so we do get a fair amount of these in, but the biggest risk uh, when it comes to fire safety are lithium batteries. The Kent County Public Works Recycling Facility Supervisor helps make sure the batteries are properly disposed of. The main issue with them is just the um, machine impact just busting them open. Any Kent County resident can drop off lithium ion or other rechargeable batteries for free. The goal is to reduce the risk of fires that can be especially difficult to extinguish. Water doesn't do a great job putting these fires out. What it, water does is gets everything around it wet enough to not catch on fire. These can only really be put out by cutting off the oxygen supply. So uh, when the fire does break out and it's in a pile of combustibles like at the recycling center, it's, it poses a huge risk. In addition to recycling the batteries, you should buy devices that are certified by a reputable testing lab, use an approved charger, and charge on hard surfaces that are less flammable. Typically, when they're damaged, is when they create the fire. So you want to do everything you can to, to handle them properly. If you want to learn more about recycling lithium ion batteries, we have a link in this story on woodtv.com. In Grand Rapids, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.